Smart Start's one of those programs where the governor and the legislature disagree. Both sides support the program, but it's the level of support reflected in their budgets that tells the story. I support Smart Start. This is why I put an additional $35 million for the next two years in my budget for Smart Start. Governor Roy Cooper gets a round of applause for his budget proposal at the National Smart Start Conference. The governor calls his plan for Smart Start an investment. I've put $35 million additional dollars into Smart Start. The State House has proposed $7 million over the next two years. I think that's, that's too low. Smart Start started back in the mid-90s, a public-private partnership that serves children and their families from prenatal to kindergarten. The science is reinforcing that investing in young children and investing early is the most important thing we can do. We know that brains are built over time. We know that investing in kids early is what helps. The program provides more than just early education. We know that there are a lot of children that could benefit not only from a structured pre-K program, um, but also from parent support programs and health initiatives, and that's what Smart Start does. Governor Cooper says the success of early education like Smart Start is easy to spot. Most kindergarten teachers can tell you which kids have had early childhood education in pre-K and which kids have not. Final spending for Smart Start isn't decided yet. The budget talks are still underway. This year, with the governor having veto power, they're expected to be more negotiating than in recent years. In Greensboro, I'm Bill O'Neill, WXII 12 News.